In this episode of Puzzle Time, we are talking about the ecologically friendly bamboo secret puzzle box from Project Genius. We do end up solving it, so if you want to find the solution to this, check it out in this episode. We're also talking about a couple metal puzzles. These are metal puzzles that are made out of brass and aluminum. They're actually by a company called Grave Raven. Yeah, check it out in this episode of Puzzle Time. Welcome to episode 119 of Puzzle Time. In this episode, we are talking about two different puzzle companies, Project Genius and Grave Raven. Now we have Honey Hive from Project Genius and about six, no, five, five different bird puzzles from Grave Raven. Uh, before we get into that though, Linnea's got a contest she wants to talk about. Yeah, so we're doing a contest right now on a site called Up Viral. Uh, we have five puzzles that you can take home. So you yeah. can win these five puzzles. We have the wooden Tower of Annoy, the metal quad L puzzle, the uh, Pyraminx rotational, the iron main wire puzzle, and the Pioneer Pyramid. So these puzzles, all you have to do is go into, go into click the link below, go to the contest, uh, join the contest and share it with your friends. Yeah, it's and if, if you simple. share it and people join the contest, you get lots of extra points or entries, I should say, into the, the draw. We'll be doing the draw for the five puzzles on the April 2nd. April 2nd, yes. April 2nd. So, uh, yeah, go to the link below. Uh, that's up viral, not a virus, but a site where you can enter this contest to win these five puzzles. So, uh, let's get into the, today's puzzles, and we're going to start with Project Genius. Let me grab yours there, and this is the Honey Hive. Now, we've, we've done a fair amount of Project Genius stuff. Um, what, what other puzzles do they have, do you know? So uh, they have a think? lot of like the basic wire puzzles and uh, wooden burrs and right, stuff that you right. have to take part that a lot of the companies do. Um, but they also do different like individual player games where you have different challenges. Um, yeah. they're, they they're do a one, lot of different stuff like that. They're one of the bigger kind of uh, retailers out there in the puzzle world. The uh, one you may of know stuff. of theirs is a Grecian bottle. Or the, the, Grecian, the bottle. Grecian bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's our most popular. It's like... Is that glass bottle with uh, what, like a dowel through it and like a, a bolt in the end with a nut? Yeah, they're called impossible bottle yeah, puzzles. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. There's there's a lot of different ones out there. Project Genius does a really nice one. So this is a bamboo secret puzzle box made out of bamboo. Now, do they make some other bamboo puzzles too, don't they? they, they yeah, do. they do a few other ones. They have like the yeah. bamboo wood set of theirs. I'm pretty sure that's by them. Yeah, it's cool. It's unique. I like the... The, the feel of bamboo, the look of it. Um, and this is supposed to be made after like a beekeeper's hive so yeah. that they're kind of saying, you know, support the bees and kind of the ecological things with this yeah. one. And I mean, bamboo is obviously a, probably a pretty ecological product, I would guess, um, as opposed to like plastics and some of the 3D printed stuff. So they've definitely gone with that ecological look, ecological as they call it. So printed on 90% recycled material, which is cool. So if you're into some of that, uh, this is definitely a good uh, good puzzle for you. The goal is to remove the wooden pegs from the holes until the top comes open. So it's a secret box. Uh, and what level is it, Linnea? It's a level nine. Level nine. That surprises me, honestly. They like doesn't Project Genius usually is a little more simpler. Yeah, they usually don't puzzles. do very difficult ones. Yeah, but... so this is on the the harder difficulty for sure for what they've done before, which I like. Um, so this one dowel does seem to move in and out a little bit. Yeah, the other one doesn't. The other move. not as much. Oh, it does too, though. If you move the lid, but if you hold the lid in place, it doesn't move where the other one does if you hold yeah. the lid in place. Okay, so this one dowel, when I move it back and forth, it actually is like, look at this, it's like attached. It moves the one. So when I move this top dowel, it oh. only moves the one square peg. No, if you hold it, you can still move this. But if you hold that wooden piece, it's just, it's kind of pulling it when you pull it. It doesn't, it really doesn't feel like there's a lot going on in this for it to be a level nine. It's just, I think it's just understanding that move to try to get it. And I don't know what that move would be. There's got to be something that spins. Okay. Do you think there's other pegs? Hold on. 
I don't think there's anything else. But there's no other. But one dowel is definitely con con more connected to the one peg and vice versa. So each. So what I saw is there is like a piece that's coming from the lid up that's hooking through these two dowels. That's holding oh. it into place. So on either side, there's a thing that's holding. That's what's holding the lid there. So I think I figured it's something out there. Did I? Maybe not. Yeah. Okay. So there's, I'm going to draw this. Let me draw this. Let me grab a piece of paper here. I mean, this isn't going to give away the whole solution. But so you've got the, the pin or the, these square pieces coming here with the dowel coming through, right? Uh, and so the dowel is going through this. And inside this piece is a, there's a hole cut like that. And then it goes down to like a, it's almost like, and then it goes down into there. So when the dowel and that cutout piece, so the dowel has that cutout that's like, if you look at the dowel sideways, it goes like this, and back up, right? So your dowel's going in here and that allows it to pass and then you're pushing it in and this, because this is like a V like that, it, it binds that piece in. So that piece binds into there. So that's why you almost have to like, like pop the, the pin over. The pin pops over. So I'm wondering if that's on the same. So that how that's how that pin comes out. Okay, let's see. Is the other one the same way? Maybe it's different. Like how much force yeah. is no, required? No, it's the same. I you just gotta pop it. You gotta so you gotta push it the right way. So that dowel comes out. That piece comes out there, and it's open. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I don't agree with that level. Yeah. It's not a level nine. No, I wouldn't it's say not. that either. We're going to change that. Because, I mean, hey, it's a cool puzzle. So you can see what's happening here. So these, this dowel is going in there and it's kind of like, it, it's like stuck, right? You have yeah. to like Use push quite that. quite a bit of force then to push it. it. And this side's actually a little more, look at that. This one side is more uh, V'd in. This side's actually pretty straight. So this side has more of like a V where it actually like is pretty firm. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. That, that's a really different mechanism. And so this one, look at it. The one, one side has two of them. So this is going through and there's two of them in there. And this side only has one, but it's one, but it's, it's a lot firmer because that, that V is deeper. And slightly offset. So look at that. The one. So that's why you have to move the peg over first. Yeah. So you have to do this one first because that pops it into. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So there it is. The, uh, what is this? The bee box? Honey hive. There it is. Honey hive. My uh, project genius. We solved it. We don't, we don't often solve puzzles on here. That's cool. I like that. Project genius. Okay. Honey hive. There it is. Let's uh, let's move on here, and we're gonna go to the what are these called? Uh, Grave Raven metal burrs. And so there's only five different styles, but as Linnea and I open them up, you'll see that there is uh, an aluminum and a brass version of each puzzle. Oh, geez, that one just fell apart. Okay. Yeah, the one I found, like the first one peg comes out really easy. Is that the Chinese cross? Yeah, the Chinese cross. Yeah, yeah. And the first peg definitely like falls out a bit. I, li I like the packaging on these. Uh, oh, first same off, with this one. Yep. The diabolical structure, the first piece, okay. comes out really easy too. Uh, I they obviously they three D printed the uh, the inserts here that hold hold each of the puzzles in, which is really neat. It's a, it's a a cool feature on them that holds the puzzles in there. And uh, inside the little box. And then uh, let's get these all open. Yeah, Chinese cross. They look very similar. So we have to like uh, brass ones. And the brass is significantly heavier. Oh, this one just came completely apart. The two pieces came out. It came, comes apart all the way. So, I mean, these are burr puzzles. Uh, as with burr puzzles, it, it's going to be generally harder to put together than it is to take apart. And these ones move quite. So they're almost a little bit, little bit too loose in my opinion. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I wish there was a little more 
attention to that, to be honest. Like this one's all going to fall is, apart if I let hard. it. Okay. Yeah, so, so I wouldn't say these are necessarily going to be hard puzzles. I no. Say. It's just putting them back together. In the yeah, it's going to be harder to put back together. They're they're all like similar in ways, but they're they're definitely different puzzles. Um, each one of them. But uh, some similar stuff. I I like the sizing of these too. So I mean, it makes it a little a little bit more cost effective too. I th I think, and they're not too small where like I I feel like I'm having to man. Uh, Maneuver them, and my fingers are like too big, right? Which I, I mean, I have that problem with some puzzles, but cool, yeah. Uh, so what what levels are these? This so we have Yamo Yamoda, oh, geez, falling apart. Yamoda block right here. This is a level eight, so that one right there. And again, they all come in aluminum and brass. This is the Hoffman nut, which is a level eight as well. The six way set is this one. Is that here. one? That's also a level eight. And then the Chinese cross, which is this one, is the easiest, uh, along with... Diabolical structure. Diabolical structure. They're both level sevens, so a little easier than the other three. Yeah, I, I think these are unique. And I, I, first, in that they come in two different types of metals. Second, that they're, they're smaller. Like, I don't know if we've seen a whole lot of birds that are this size. I don't know. They're usually quite bigger, quite a bit bigger. And, and I like the packaging. I like that, like, because even after, after you... Uh, you open them up like you can actually use these i think these work really well it's like a display case or display stand yeah to hold them or you can like set them up like that or um however you want to set it up i mean you could you could definitely set these up as uh, like a display i'm cool. guessing you could probably even just i wonder if you could set it sideways but yeah because that's that's how it looks in there that's that's neat i, I like this i like the idea behind that it hold, holds it nice and solidly in the packaging I feel like you don't have to worry about this getting all scratched up and shipping, which is nice too. This way they have it so it's sitting kind of on a platform with all those. Oh, there. there we go. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, honestly that's probably the intention right there. Is that you could like set it up and have them all sitting out on your shelf there, and that's a cool, very cool display case. I like that. Grave Ravens, obviously, a, a real great company that does some some I, I think well thought out packaging because even on locked in their packaging was great. Uh, it was it was really nicely done. So I enjoy that extra extra step that they take. And then I think these puzzles are just this really cool uh, looking simple burrs. So like they're and they're they're gonna like I said they're gonna be cost effective because they're a smaller size. So yeah, let's uh, let's finish up with these though, and then move on to the online, online buzz. buzz. Okay, online buzz. What do you want to start? With? Uh, I'll start off with the one that I've been helping out with the past week. So me and a lady who has an Instagram or TikTok and Instagram account is Quality Content Puzzles is her account. Um, we're working together to do some collaborations with uh, her puzzles and with uh, she would do some stuff with our puzzles. Um, she does jigsaw puzzles that are all environmentally friendly. Ooh, a bit of an environmentally friendly theme going <laughs> yeah. here. So our favorite the video, well, my favorite video from her was the Great Lakes Cascade. Um, it shows her complete process of making the puzzles and everything environmentally friendly that goes on within the puzzles. Yeah, she was in so, some sort of like factory, hey? Yeah, I think so, it's a factory that they get made, made in or them. something, yeah. yeah. And so yeah, her puzzles are very unique in that, like like Linnea said, they're environmentally friendly. They come in that like cloth bag, which is cool. Uh, yeah. yeah, you get a cloth bag, you get everything's like completely recycled products that are in it, um, yeah. I believe and just yeah earthly friendly but and then her pictures on her puzzles too a lot of them are environmental pictures oh really yeah she does that. a lot of nature environmental stuff she does a few other ones but a lot of them are right that um she you had, had a couple you wanted yeah to talk she had about. a couple i really liked uh she had the rainbow gradient which was i have seen some of the gradients here before but this one was like a purple blue kind of rainbowy Ooh, gradient yeah. i liked it i thought it looked really unique uh, and then i watched a video of her another puzzle she had called circle sensation and what it was it was a white white background with just black circles all over it and they overlapped each other a lot so so when you took the pieces apart it had like black loops or lines on it kind of oh, that's cool. which is a really uh, i thought an interesting twist on like kind of the more challenging jigsaw puzzle that's not a scenery but we've seen other ones where like they're a full straight just solid color or like that gradient's a little harder too this one with, with the circles i thought was really unique and uh, quite a, kind of a twist 
on those like yeah the, the difficult puzzles so I, I really like that uh, but she had some good stuff i would definitely go check her out she seemed like she was pretty new on social media but uh great content so i would uh yeah highly recommend her yeah, yeah. uh next i watched a video by uh, one of our favorites here beats and pieces uh he was doing the and this is on his youtube channel i should say he was doing this puzzle that he called dice box by a guy named alex owens now I went to do a little bit of research on this puzzle because I thought it was super cool and I couldn't find the designer anywhere. Uh, the puzzle is actually a sequential discovery 3D printed die. So it's about, I don't know, it looked like it was about maybe a little bigger than these boxes, just slightly bigger. But uh, yeah, he opens all the sides. Each of the six sides had a completely different mechanism on it, which I, I really appreciated. And some very, very unique mechanisms solving each side. I love the video. Beats and Pieces gets some great uh, puzzle content. I love his stuff. I would definitely go check it out. After doing a bit more research, though. Yeah, I had uh, recognized the yeah, puzzle Linnea from recognized somewhere. It. So, and then we found it on Lokai Cross's channel. He mm -hmm. did a 3D print of it. He didn't design it, but he did a 3D print of it as well. So. Yeah, yeah, he did his own version of it. And apparently it's, it's, a, it's a design that's on Thingiverse which is a website that has 3D printing designs on it that you can buy and make yourself. So it sounds like Lokai is making this puzzle for sale. Uh, he designed it in black. I think the one that um, Beats and Pieces had was in blue. Uh, but it just it's a great puzzle. And then the other interesting thing is Lokai called it different, a different name. He called it Di Dice? Dice? Dice. Dice. But essentially D-I-E, like a single die, S-D, so sequential discovery because it's a sequential discovery puzzle. I love both videos. I felt like um, Beats and Pieces walked through it a little bit better. I just, I enjoyed it. He, he had that, that good, but good uh, rhythm to his solve. And he was doing a solve, whereas Lokai was doing a, doing a solution more. I think he showed, I don't even know if he showed the whole, how it worked. I actually don't think he did. Yeah, I think he was yeah. just uh, more explaining his process of making it. And yeah, and then his, his design, he designed it a little different, which I appreciated in Lokai's because the one on Beats and Pieces had a the, the inner workings of it. So essentially it's six panels that you got to get off on the outside. The panels on the Beats and Pieces one were blue and the inner parts were all black, which when you look at the puzzle first, you're like, oh, that looks really cool. But when he was trying to show it on video, you had some the black stuff that you couldn't see what was totally going underneath which Lokai's was uh, black on the outside with a bit of red and white. And the inside was kind of like a, a transparent um, stuff like this. So it was much easier to kind of see what was going on underneath, which I think would lend itself well to like be able to see the solve on camera at least better. So it was interesting. Uh, keep an eye out for that. I think Lokai might be selling them. I wasn't 100% sure about that, but yeah, yeah there was, it was really cool. And a, a puzzle that really, really caught my attention. I'd love to get it here at Puzzle Master. I don't know what that would look like, but um, yeah, it was, a, it was a great puzzle. Well, we have a couple of other ones from Lokai, so yeah. under his name, his company name. Yeah, Chris name. Antibus is his name, but yeah. I think, and he had, I forget what, what's his company, but he had that... Um, yeah. Yeah. Too, you... too lit. Too lit. There it is. Too lit. I, I really enjoyed so that. So we could one. possibly like, get this. That from was him great. Too, so he so... 3D printed that one. Yeah. yeah. But okay, last, uh, Karen Puzzles on it. You want to talk about her? We like her stuff. Mostly jigsaws, but she's. Yeah. So good. I love her energy. She just has such a good energy in her videos and she just sounds, you know, she's excited about what she's mm -hmm. doing. Um, she's been a content creator for a few years. She has a lot of stuff on in our YouTube and Instagram and I recently found out she didn't start off with puzzles but she started off with crafting and then went into oh, really? puzzles. So a little bit of history there with her. Um, she worked with HGTV too she said. Really? So cool. she has a little bit of backing behind her but yeah. what I like best about her new videos on TikTok actually um, she has one called a thousand changing colors puzzle. This was so cool. It was, I like this yeah. One. It's, so it's one of those gradient puzzles, but what's different about it is they did a plastic sheeting on top that when you actually shift the puzzle a certain way, it changes the color. Yeah. So in, you can look at it in different directions or kind of angles and stuff like that. And you actually get a different color scheme on it. it. Uh, which is nuts because like you could be doing the puzzle then and the puzzle is like on a slightly different piece is on a slightly different angle. You put it in, it fits maybe, but then you're like, oh, it actually doesn't look right. Which like yeah. I don't know how you even do that. They said they she she said that there's a plastic sheeting on top that changes the color. So when you 
the plastic sheeting on top actually makes you have to click the pieces. Like you have to push them into yeah, place. Yeah, it was they neat. Just... We were watching that, and it, it yeah. was like a, a bit of the, the whole like uh, satisfying like click. She would pick the pieces, and it, yeah. it was cool. So that was such a unique puzzle. I'd never seen anything like that. So she, at the end, she's got this whole thing clicked together, and she starts lifting it up, and you can see like the colors shift, and it's like blue and green, and like a crazy puzzle. Cool, that's the end of our online buzz and uh, kind of the end of our episode. Now you can, you can go to UpViral to win those uh, puzzles, Tower of Hanoi and a few others. Uh, click the link in the description below. And uh, anything else? Go to puzzlemaster.ca, you'll find all the puzzles we talked about here, see our new releases. You can sign up for our newsletter, get notifications when new puzzles come in that you're waiting for that are out of stock. You can go to, where are they, what TikTok, else? TikTok, on Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, Muslim. what's our new Instagram too? Uh, Puzzle Master CA. Puzzle Master so CA. we still have had a couple people tagging us on Puzzle Master Inc. And you know that's great, people can see that. But yeah. we just asked if you can to please tag us on Puzzle Master CA as well yeah. or instead of. So tagging us on both, people can see both of our handles and see lots of good videos on our old channel. But it just allows us to interact with people better on the new account that we can actually access. Yeah. So CA, because we're in Canada. So uh, yeah. <laughs> From us here in Puzzle Master in Canada, we'll uh, see you next episode.